Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Zion National Park. More specifically, the east side of Zion National Park. And um, if you've been watching my videos recently, I'll say welcome back to Zion National Park because I was actually here about a month ago and just put out two videos on my channel from Zion National Park. I was so inspired by my last visit to Zion, especially exploring the east side of the park, that I decided to come back only a month later and explore the east side a bit more. Welcome to the East Side Zion National Park. I only have about two hours until sunset. I got in here uh, early this afternoon and I decided Wanted to do something on the east end today. I'm gonna to do some more exploring over here tomorrow. But since I don't have much time today, I'm just gonna to do a shorter one. And I found a trail on all trails called South Aerial Peak, which I believe is the peak behind me up this. You can't even see the peak at the bottom of it. So I'm just planning on scrambling up this, I don't know, this sandstone area here. <laughs> and apparently, yeah, South Aerial Peak is the one behind me. So I found that trail on all trails. It's a pretty short one. I think it's about an 800 foot elevation gate, and it should give me some nice views of the east side of the park. So, really, that's just a goal for sunset to get up there. This is actually some pretty fun trail finding. This is not really that much of a marked trail. I did see a few cairns on the trail, the rock piles marking this trail, but it's just a lot of trail finding to get up there. There's just kind of a last scramble. I gotta go up this ridge side here. Then it's a switch back and take me up to the peak just above me there. A little challenging, but that makes it fun, honestly. And again, there's nobody out here. I really like the east side of Zion. It's a pretty amazing part of the park. Very little crowds and amazing, amazing views. That right there is the summit. Pretty awesome view up here. I will say that was a bit of a challenging scramble there at the end to get up here. Wasn't able to fil film any of it because I really need both hands to climb up that. Um, but yeah, I'm up here with that behind me. That's the peak, South Aerial Peak. Nobody else up here. And I can see why, because it is, it's a bit of a more technical climb to get up here and you gotta kind of find, a, find the trail on your own. There isn't really a marked trail either. There's the summit, almost there. the reward. Here we are, the summit of South Aerial Peak. Pretty amazing view of so the east end of Zion National Park up here. Pretty good climb, a little bit technical. Wouldn't recommend to people who aren't comfortable with climbing a bit. Um, some kind of slick sandstone sections coming up here on some scrambles, but definitely worth the view for sure. It's absolutely amazing. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Zion National Park. So I found a pretty cool hike to do for the morning here. It was basically on the drive 
to the east side of the park. I don't believe this trail even has a name. I kind of just pulled off and, and found it. I just drove by it yesterday. thought it looked like a cool spot to check out. It has a pretty awesome view of the towers and temples of the Virgin that it's called back there. I believe because the Virgin River does run right through the park. Photographed those my last visit to the park about a month ago in a video I put out and I hiked up to the Watchman Overlook, which is just down this way. I personally think this trail might be better than the Watchman Overlook, but way less um, traffic than hiked because it's not labeled on any of the maps or even has a name as far as I could find out. It's kind of why I'm here. I want to try and find some of the lesser hiked trails, lesser visited parts of the park because the main canyon is just absolutely insanely busy today. The parking was completely full, so yeah, you couldn't even really park and even take the shuttle if you wanted to. I do find that shooting in conditions like this, which is it's overcast this morning, and um, very flat light, which I prefer to the sun being out midday like this. I mean, it's not quite mid mid midday, but the sun would be pretty high in the sky. So the harsh shadows are always tough to deal with, so I do feel like I prefer it to be overcast, but I generally pretty much always just go with my 45-150 telephoto on the G9 pretty much at any time when the conditions aren't super interesting because then I'll just pick out details in the landscapes and uh, this has a great little zoom length so you can kind of zoom in and uh, yeah just pick out details to shoot. So basically it's only about a half mile to get here from the main road cutting into the east side of the park but this is not what i'm here for this is actually one of the most popular hikes in all of zion national park there's like loads of people here i'm amazed i got parking honestly but i'm actually here to hike something called the east temple saddle trail which again is a very primitive trail i don't even believe there even is a trail from reading the reviews and all trails but it literally goes up this behind me to the top of that. Not marked at all. Have to have a GPS, which I have the map downloaded on all trails, so I'll have the GPS because um, there's no cell phone service out here, of course. Found the trail. Goes up that right there. Looks very scrambly and steep and a lot of loose rocks. See how it goes, but look at this amazing view behind me. The Canyon Overlook view is pretty spectacular for only being a half mile hike. Okay, well, I thought I had given up, but alas, I have not. I was way up there on that hillside there. That's where I decided to give up because I didn't think I could make it. I was hiking back down that. I saw some hikers go up this way behind me. So I decided to hike down here and it turns out there's some Karens, some trail markers here that mark the way up this hillside. Well, I followed the Karens, that other trail, and I'm actually making some progress now. The saddle is just up there. So I'm probably halfway up now. Almost to the top of the saddle. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is really kicking my butt. Very difficult steep climb up this. Well, you can see the canyon look, overlook area way down there. People look like ants from up here. But at least this is actually traversable and climbable. I like that other section that was impossible, at least for me to climb up. But man, I'm beat. All right, there's a the little cairn marking the summit. Right to the top of the saddle. It is very windy up here, but these views are just Expansive. It's getting very overcast right now. I don't think it's gonna rain, but it is just cooling off a bit with the wind and the clouds rolling in. So I think I'm gonna keep heading down just because it's not very comfortable to be up on the top of this right now because it's so windy and it's a bit chilly. Wow, what a climb though. behind me that is the end 
of the wash I just hiked down. So I hiked from way up there somewhere. Back there is where I hiked from. Top of that saddle way down this. And now you can see behind me this wash here, that stream empties. I don't know if you can see it, but it empties down into this really deep slot canyon. <laughs> that is just a giant tear in the earth. It's incredible. I was just shooting some images of that with the wide angle with the triplets there in the background, which that's, mount that's what those three little mountains back there are called. It's just a spectacular area. Like, it's basically the back country of Zion. There's nobody out here. Get away from all the crowds. And it feels pretty cool to be exploring the east end of the park where there's a lot less people. Not Most people who come here don't ever see this part. And it's pretty spectacular. It's a hard, difficult climb to get here, but well worth it. What a spectacular view out here though, my goodness. Look at that, that is incredible. And have it all to myself. What a treat, <laughs> it's just amazing. This is why I come out here. Views and solitude like this. Pretty amazing how small and like insignificant nature can make me and my life feel and all of my problems and, and you know whatever's going on in my life just makes it feel so unimportant and minuscule. And there's something about that that feels really good. It's just kind of I feel like nature helps you release things that you're holding on to. We are back to civilization. <laughs> Really surprisingly, that trail is remote as that felt. And as difficult of a hike that was, it wasn't very far away from the main road here. It was, uh, once I got down to that wash, it was like a 10 minute walk back to the road. Now I just need to walk back to the parking lot I'm parked in by the canyon overlook to get back to my car. Goats. Here's another one. That was funny, he just walked up on a bunch of mountain goats here on accident. I decided to come back over to the Canyon Overlook view here for uh, sunset. It's about 7, 10 p.m. I believe, so sunset's about 15, 20 minutes. I don't know how great the sunset's gonna be because as you can see it's uh, it's quite cloudy and overcast, mostly right now. Anyway, this is an amazing view. <laughs> a great way to end my couple days here exploring the east side of Zion National Park. Mm -hmm. 